Welcome to the third part of our KNX basic course practice. We continue our practical training with more changes and extensions, inventing a presence detector in the staircase. We repeat and extend the knowledge about the function diagnostics. We focus on the correct settings of data point types. This leads then to the establishment of status feedbacks and how they can be made visible to the user. Changing push-button configurations. The first change to be applied is the function of conference ceiling light A on the switching dimming actuator. Instead of purely switching, now also dimming should be enabled. Try to do the required steps on your own now. Follow the workflow given in this sheet. Start with the parameters of the push button. Then create the new group address. When you change the rocker configuration of rocker A, ETS will prompt you to accept that group address links will be removed. You must accept it in order to proceed. So you must link both required group addresses now to the changed channel A. Finally, download and test sensor and actuator. Parameter setting push button office. Rocker A of the room control unit, QMX3, should have the following functions. Right button, office light 50%, 8-bit set value. Left office light toggle means on off with one button. A change is planned also for the office lighting. So far, the group control for both lights only turns on and off. But it is also possible to change the configuration so that you can use an in-between state, which is a light level of 50%. That leads to the following configuration of Rocker A. Left button equals toggle on off. Right button equals value control sending 50%. Again, do the three steps. 1. Parameter change as given here. Two. Create required group address. 3. Link addresses and download to sensor and actuator. Test the new function. Presence detector in staircase. Requirements. A presence detector UP258DB12 is now installed in the staircase for automatic light control. Use application 920504. As it is a new device, you have to download a new individual address. You should use the number 13 for it. Depending on how you can access the device, you can either press the programming button or you have to use the serial code from the barcode sheet. This presence detector should switch on the light D independently of brightness. We are channel D of the switching dimming actuator. Create a new room for it, the staircase. Add the matching device and configure it according to the requirement. See next page. This device uses two objects for switching on and off, but you need only one group address of course. The overshoot time should be for practicing only 10 seconds. Apply the parameter settings in the red boxes. No lock option, settings for begin and end of detection and the overshoot time. For test purpose, as I mentioned, only 10 seconds. Extended function diagnostics. Open diagnostics, group monitor and start recording. Let's start diagnostics again group telegrams. This time we will look closer to the detail information given in the columns DPT and Info and at the details in the properties window at the right side as per single telegram. So when the group monitor is started, press rocker A of the three gang push button conference on top and check what happens in the group monitor window which data are displayed. 
Where are the actual user data located, which make the lights switching on and off? How is the column called? Group monitor, reading and interpreting telegrams. Operate rocker A right of the QMX3 room unit T3, value 50% and check what happens in the group monitor window. 1. 2. Values are always displayed in hex code first. 3. ETS tries to display the most likely data point interpretation. 4. The detailed value interpretation in the info column will only be visible if the monitor option extended KNX data point type decoding is enabled. 5. To see the correct interpretation, you have to assign the corresponding group address an explicit data point type. It is also possible to use the group object with the DPT assignment. Make adjustments to the DPT assignment especially of the sending objects, so that in future the correct value in the column info is displayed. Group Monitor Sending Values In the Group Monitor, you also can control functions by sending telegrams. Follow the instructions to send telegrams of certain values. Your QMX3 push button has only one fixed setting of 50%, but of course the group address can transport any value to the actuator. Together with the implementation of status messages on the following pages, you will be able to control the functions from the group monitor instead of operating the buttons and have immediate feedback to your action. 1. Open and start the group monitor again. Click at the context menu, three dots. Here you can select a proper group address. 3. Enter control values like 30%, 100% or 0. 4. Click on write. Watch the telegrams and the office lights. Make sure that your delay time is on 0. Status display. You want to know if the lights really switch on, even if you operate the dimming function only. In order to achieve this, the triggered actuator has to send its current switching status at every state change to the push button. The push button is able to make this information visible on its status LEDs. Here is what you have to do to get the proper status feedbacks established on the push buttons. 1. Check if applicable change the following parameter of the N536DB51 for all affected channels. Sending of a switching status response. Switching on also with dimming or value command. See screenshots next page. 2. Activate the LED parameters of the push button tree gang T1 and if applicable also for the QMX3 P37. 3. Create new group addresses, light A, status on off, light B, status on off, etc. 4. Link these group addresses with the proper status objects on actuator and sensors. 5. Because there is an LED for every push button, you should choose if the left or the right LED row is to be used. Both together would perhaps be too exaggerated. 6. Download and test and have the group monitor running while you do this. Status display parameter push button T1 UP223. All rocker levels have two LED. They must be activated in order to get the corresponding status objects. In my example, all LEDs of the left side are activated. Status display parameter push button Tango 3 QMX3. 
The LED configuration of the QMX3 looks slightly different, but has the very same output. Create the new group addresses for this sensor as well. Do the steps to establish the desired function as you are used to it already. Then think about how you would establish a proper setting on the left push button of Rocker Level A for the target function. Solution on last page. Status Display Parameters Actuator N536DB51 Check if the actuator for switching and dimming is enabled to send feedbacks automatically on change. You must do this on the parameter page functions objects. Status objects of the actuator N536DB51. Check the status objects, create group addresses if not already created and link them to these status objects. Afterwards, don't forget to download. Display messages on the UP227 display. Add-on for Super Pros. Try to link the status response value of the actuator by yourself now and to display the particular value responses on the UP227 text display. It is sensible in this context to activate also the operation of the function because you only need one more group address for it, but no new function. To get a display indication of the dimming level, the dimming value status of the actuator is required. You prepared it previously in the parameters of the actuator. Now go ahead and create the new group address and link it accordingly. Solution for toggle button with feedback. A toggle button will always send the inverted status of its output object for switching. But if you link this object just to one group address, the button will not receive changes from the actuator if this actuator is controlled by further group addresses. The result is, if you turn the light on by the toggle button, but off by the push button interface for central off, the next operation of the toggle button would also send the off and nothing would happen, as the light is already off. The solution is to link the switching object of the push button also to a status address of the controlled actuator channel. Make sure that in this case the status telegram finds an active right flag in this object, so that the object value can be overwritten or simply updated. Summary of Worksheet 3 You have extended your project by the staircase and you have applied some changes. You have extended your knowledge about function monitoring and communication flags. Finally, you established status feedback functions. See you later in Worksheets 4.